because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I never shut up, Barry. Uh, it must have been about 17, 16, 17. We nicked their guilt rings. Right, the bouncer's guilt rings. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Avlast. We're at the Chilton Firehouse, great lunch here. Uh, Frank, um, yeah, what was the, the idea behind this lunch? Tell people. Oh, you told me you want me to take you out for, for lunch. So oh, don't lie it. now, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> there are other people here, it's just not me and you. Yeah, I know. Oh, don't tell the boys. <laughs> uh, Frank, let's start with um, Lamarty. Obviously, yeah. people who watched... Uh, the BT card a couple of weekends ago would have known the, the critical condition he was in. Great to hear that he's now conscious, although he's still in hospital. What's the current status of, of Lamuda? Well, he, you know, hopefully the, the, every day we get a report back and, and that's uh, that he is uh, he's gradually improving. And it takes a while, you know, from a... It's quite a serious operation that he's had to relieve the pressure on his brain. And as um, I think we said in our last interview, they put him into a, uh, a drug-induced coma. They brought him around there, and, and it'll be a gradual recovery, and hopefully he'll get a full recovery and be able to go home soon to his family. Just want to clear up some claims that have been made by certain people that Queensbury uh, left Lamarty unattended in the hospital in Belfast. Do you want to just clear that up? Absolute bullshit. And the people who say that should know better. You know, his team went home. Uh, we got people on the ground out there, also the Border Control, also um, their lo the, the uh, Border Control doctor was quite uh, was on it every day, seeing how he was and so forth. We got people out there we worked with and we were getting daily reports and we brought his family, or brought a couple of people he, that asked to come home, one of them being his family, so they could be at his bedside. We did that and uh, as we would do, you know, whenever these terrible, tragic events happen, but it's dreadful that people come out with stuff like this. And I don't know where it is, who instigated it, but, you know, obviously they're moronic and they've got no brains and they don't understand how this business works. Uh, his team did leave and go back to South Africa, I believe. I can't do nothing about that. That's up to them, isn't it? They, you know, I, I, if they want to go, if they decide to go back, that's their choice. How do you feel about that, though, his team leaving him? Well, maybe they, they've got their reasons. Listen, when, when Gerald McClellan, many, many years ago, was in a coma, his team left and went back to America. We flew his family in, we flew his sister and family in uh, many years ago. That, that's happened. They got their reasons. That's a question that you, should, you know, they, they, you need to ask them rather than me. Yeah, sure. Right, let's move on to Tyson Fury. Um, we know the situation with the offer you made, it's been refused. I do want to get your response to some comments that Eddie Hearn made about the offer. Uh, he said that Queensbury were doing a PR stunt because you guys knew that Joshua already had plans for August and December. Do you want to make a comment Who's on that? Who's he fighting in August? Supposedly Dylan White. They made an offer. That's not been signed. No. Nope. So why would he fight Dylan White rather than fight Tyson Fury for 40% of the money for the WBC title? Why would he, why would he choose that over that? That's bullshit. We sent the offer and we did it discreetly. It was not done through the media or anything. And Eddie Hearn can say what he likes, but he's talking a complete pile of bollocks. That is untrue. The fact of the matter is, is that the offer was made. It was a genuine offer. Tyson was very much aware of it. Tyson, to his credit, said to me yet again, he won't take it because he's terrified of fighting me. But irrespective of that, they didn't take the fight. And the reason they didn't take the fight because you know why? They want to fight in Saudi. They don't want to get this payday. And let me tell you another thing Eddie Hearn said, which is a fact of life. Only a few weeks ago, he said he had no offer from Saudi. I still don't think they do, as far as I know. So what, what's he got then? He hasn't got an offer. He's got nothing. So what, what are we interfering with if he hasn't got any offers? We got an offer. We're saying fight him. Now... We're in a position now with a WBC. You've got Wilder number one, you've got Ruiz number two. The WBC ordered uh, Wilder against Ruiz. That fight didn't happen because Wilder also is going wants to fight in Saudi in December. And Ruiz, I don't know what happened between them, but neither of them come, even came back to the WBC. And number three is Joshua. So if, if 
they both weren't available and Joshua's yes. number now the number one. Is he going to turn down the fight? And if he does turn down, the, and if he doesn't turn down the fight, we go to purse bids. And you know what you'll get? 20% of the purse bid, rather than the 40%. And what's he going to do in August? Who's he going to fight in August? Who is, is he going to fight Hergovic? Of course he's not going to fight Hergovic, which would be an easy fight. They're going to go and find somebody, and they're probably scouring the old cemeteries at the moment, looking for someone for him to fight. Keep him alive. Right. One more thing he did add about that was he did say nothing's been locked in for August or December. Well, fine, then fight but, in September. But the, the point he made was one minute Tyson saying, oh, he's going to do a fight in Australia. He can't trust Tyson, is what he said. Tyson hasn't said nothing. We're his promoters. We've made the offer. He spoke to my son, George. He spoke to George. Forget about all this bullshit about that. This is pure noise. This is pure crap. Deal with reality. I'll tell you what happened now. I'm sitting here now. Forget about everybody else. Do you, AJ, want to fight in September? You've got 40% of the purse. Fire going at Wembley. You've got it. You've got 40% of all the money. I'm telling you, you ain't got to talk to Tyson or anybody. I'm guaranteeing that. If you've got the balls to do it. Or you're going to wait until, well, we all know, waiting for the big pot of gold in Saudi. And I haven't got a problem either with that, but be honest. If you're going for the big money, like the golfers have done, like the footballers are doing, everybody else is doing, no problem. But don't lie. Because the fact of the matter is, you don't want to fight Tyson, for the obvious reason, because Tyson will kick your ass, and you'll lose that fight and that big payday. Do, do you, you've just said that, though. Do you understand, then, why they, they're not fighting Tyson? Yeah. I've got a problem with that, I've just said to you. What I've got a problem with is with the bullshit and the lies. With her and all the crap that comes up. Tyson's fighting Australia. He ain't fighting Australia. Where's an offer from Australia? I ain't got an offer from Australia. There's nothing. You know, he went down there and there was talk about, would you fight this guy? I'm sure he would if the money was right, but no one's made an offer. But we're made an offer. We ain't got to wait for others. Tyson is the WBC champion. We have made the offer. We made the offer. So it wasn't a PR stunt? <laughs> well, I just told you. No, I was, I was joking, Frank. So, sorry, <laughs> so, so call my bluff. Call my bluff. Pick the phone up and accept it. Accept the 40%. Don't pussy around. Take the 40%. Rather oh. than 20. OK, let's move on from Joshua. I want to get your reaction to Alexander Usyk signing with Prince Khalid and Skills Challenge. Your thoughts? told you how many days ago what was going to happen. I told you how to It's the same bullshit. It's the same. They keep changing this narrative. You know, oh, Greedy Belly, he doesn't want to fight because... And I like Alex. Greedy Belly doesn't want to fight because uh, it's big money. And we walked away because there was... This is his words on your thing last night because there were some small things. Well, if they were small things, why did you walk away? Well, you all went with small things if they're small things. They're gone. Do you know what? Whatever those small things are, you could have had them. You walk, your words, not mine. Your team walked away. And they walked away for one reason and one reason only. Because they've been offered, offered a lot of money to fight in Saudi. A lot of money. And I get it. And I understand. But stop bullshitting people. That's why you're there. You're there because you're there because the golfers have done it, the footballers have done it, and the, and the racing car drivers and everybody have done it for the money. And there ain't a problem with that. You're professional sportsmen, but stop with a bush. You didn't fight him. You keep talking about your, uh, pay per view, what Chisora did against Tyson and what he did. Where's he? He don't know what the numbers are. And by the way, um, Chisora got the biggest payday he's ever had against Tyson. And by and by the way. And by, um, <laughs> And by the way, the situation is now, he's getting paid how much money? How much money is he getting? Six, six million, million dollars. If he gets the six million, excuse me. If he gets the six million. Tyson, last year, went to Pursuits with Dillian White, who holds no belts. And Dillian White got eight million dollars to fight Tyson. Fact. Fact. Eight million dollars. Okay. Eight million dollars. You know? You can go around all the houses, but at the end of the day, stop kicking, you know, and I, I like it, you know, that you're, you do, you've got to do and say what you've got to do for your fighter, and I respect you for doing that, but the bannings of people, 
old English expression, fanny merchants. Because you was offered the fight and you didn't want it. No rematch clause from Tyson. You can have the rematch. Yeah. And all the haters are going to get online and all this usual crap. But the facts are facts. And the facts, as I've said, you go back to all the interviews I've said, all of them are waiting for Sam. And he's saying to you last night, there's a big offer coming from Saudi. Well, where is it? We've been waiting for that since December. Keep telling us enough. There ain't no offer come yet. Will an offer come? I hope it does, because you know what? Derek Chisora, who's their representative, said about a month ago, we're going to get big money for the fires. He's going to get 100 to 150 million pounds, Tyson Fury. Am I right? Is that what we said? Yeah. Send that contract. It's a done deal. It's a done deal. Send the contract, please. We're waiting for it. Where's that contract for the 150 mil? We are here. I'll tell you something. Forget about Tyson. I'll sign it. I'll forge your signature. I'll do whatever it takes. You've got that fight. Stop bullshitting us. Frank, just, uh, before we uh, carry on, just hold that slightly more to you. We don't want people to not hear this. Um, Frank, you've been very public to... Sorry about that language, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're enjoying it. They're enjoying it. Um, you've been very public to us on IFL to talk sports to other media outlets about um, you know Usyk was waiting for Saudi Arabia he's just signed with them and that's why it didn't happen in the UK with Fury can I just ask you um, according to Alex Krasuk those guys had, a, had agreed a deal with Saudi Arabia in February to do the fight with Tyson and according to them it was Tyson who didn't agree a deal so with Saudi Arabia okay. look what happened was an offer was made to Tyson to fight on in it first was in December and what happened December last year and what happened was that Usyk go back and look at this stuff said he was injured he wouldn't be ready and he wouldn't be available to fight in February is that correct yes so we said right in the meantime Tyson's going to fight in in um, December because otherwise wait until February or March he'd be out of the ring for nearly a year having fought Gillian White last April. Then the fight work couldn't be in February. They said we would like to do it in April the 29th and we'll send an offer. And great respect to them. Then they came back, Prince Khalid came back and his team and said we can't do it until December because the stadium isn't built yet. That is the truth of the matter. The money was not a problem. The money was not a problem. It was the fact they had no stadium and the fact we had no written offer. We've never had a written offer. Why are they blaming you, O6 guys? Because they're, they're bullshitting people why they didn't take the fight in April. Because we offered it to do it in April and May. And then we offered to do it over the summer. And that's what the bullshit is. You know, 30%, he's bringing this to the table. He's bringing, the, he's bringing the three belts to the table. He's getting six, six million dollars for his next fight. Two million less than Dylan White got the fight to us. Okay. You've referred to this interview about my interview last night with Alex Krasik where he said a take it or leave it offer will be on your way very soon to you guys for Fury Music in December. Um, what what has been the last communication with Skills Challenge with Saudi Arabia? Well, is Alex the promoter? Well, he'd be involved, like just like you no, would be. No, is he the promoter? No, no Skills Challenge. I'm a promoter. I'm a promoter. Yeah. So, um, you know, is he the promoter who's making the offer? Who's no. Who's making the offer? Prince Khalid would. We haven't had that. And what was your last point of contact about that? Um, spoke, I think, um, I'm not sure, a week or two weeks or whatever it was ago, and there's no offer. But have they not given you a reason about why an offer's still not come in? Because they said, at this moment, they're not in a position to make an offer. Okay. And they have to clear it with the... Um, they have to go to the government for the money, and the government then sign off on it, and there's been nothing made yet. But they've said it will be done, and that's where we are. And they're, they're very, you know, Prince Khalid's a you know, very honourable guy, that's what he said. But we haven't had anything because he's got no offer to give us at the moment. And maybe there will be an offer. You know, maybe he knows more than I do, Alec Crassie. Maybe there will be an offer coming through. But as we sit here now, we have never had an offer this year at all. There's no rush. And with if we haven't, show it to us. There's no rush with it, though, is there, Frank? Is well, there was a rush if it was going to take place in February and April, but there was no offer because of the reasons I've just told you. So we're don't worry about it. So we see 
We'll see at the end of the day, we'll see at the end of the day whether they actually do make the offer, and I hope they do, because as I said, the monies that Derek Chisora was saying is available as their spokesman will bite their hand off. Bite their hand off. Frank, can I just get your thoughts on um, lots of criticism from Simon Jordan, Adam Cattrall, a lot of people on Talk Sport about Tyson Fury? In what way? You must have heard it. No, I've heard it, but they're, they're misinformed. They, they, they are going with that narrative. And I've got to tell you that they're totally wrong. Adam Cattrall, I don't think he knows, he knows shit what he's talking about. And Simon, I've, I have lots of conversation with Simon, and he's got it. What, he, what his thing is, is Simon is Tyson going on social media. He doesn't like that. And maybe that's, that's, his, that's his thing. But Tyson, at the end of the day, whatever way you want to look at it, he's been right. Because what he says is, I tell him, Tice, I spoke with it, I spoke to these people, I spoke to those people, on offers coming through in 48 hours or next week and nothing comes through. And all he says to me, it's not going to happen, Frank. And he's been, up until today as I sit here now, he's been right about everything. He said that Joshua won't fight him, and he said that Usyk won't take it. And it's not stupid, he understands why, like I understand why, because they got it in their head, they're going to get a, a tub full of money or a truckload of money from Saudi. And God bless them if they do, but stop fanning. This is not about... Let me read... I've got to find this. This, this is a tweet that they... Put, that, what's his name? Um, Usyk put out. Find a bloody thing there. What's his name? See, I'm getting old, boys, so you'll have to bear with me. You're going to have to do whatever you've got to do with this. One second. Right, I'm going to read this out, and this is something that he put out not, not long ago. And he said, correct me if I'm wrong, this is Alexander Usi. Right, that's the tweet he put out. I'm going to read it though. Yeah, you read, I don't think we can pick it up, read it out. Right, okay, so it says, Alec, this is from Alexander Usi. Fury. You talk about greatness. I'm not going to do the accent. You talk about greatness in boxing. At the same time, you say, give me a lot of money. Greatness in boxing is not determined by money. Greatness comes from a victorious part. You say that I avoid you, although I never have. And in fact, I've even come to you. I'm ready to box you, even without any prize money. That's his tweet. What a load of bollocks that is. You know what the bottom line of all this is? It's not about pride, it's about money. And I get that, I understand it. So stop bullshitting everybody. That's your tweet. That's what you put out. You've been offered a chunk of money, far more money than you'd get in anywhere else, except Saudi. And if you're getting that money in Saudi, good luck, God bless you. But stop fanning into the fans. How was your meeting with Maurice Chesson, it's very good. We talked about the, um, the position with the uh, mandatory and uh, cut a long story short. Um, well, he said himself, Deontay Wilder and Ruiz, he ordered it for a mandatory to fight Tyson. And neither of them came back or wanted it. And we know Deontay wants to go to Saudi to get a truckload of money. It's disrupted the whole situation. Is he going to enforce a mandatory or not then? I think he will do because the mandatory is going to be due. Uh, so the third one in, in. Anthony Joshua. Yeah. You reckon you're going to take it? No. Look, Wilder and Ruiz said no. Wilder's boxing in Saudi. Joshua's boxing in Saudi. Frank Sanchez in number four. Would have you be? Got, can I ask a question? Go on. Have, have any of them got contracts? Four. Because you, you told No. You, you as far told, as Eddie Hearns latestly said well, no. Let's assume that for once he's telling the truth. So he's got no, no, no contract, no offer. Because he's in the same position as us. But what he's doing, they're sitting there waiting like that. And they don't want their golden egg. They don't want him, the golden goose, they don't want him getting knocked over. That's what they don't want. So the old Waterford Crystal Chin, he'll be out in, I swear to you, he'll be out in August getting, getting him fighting. Well, who's he going to fight? Who are they going to find for him? Ergovic? Oh, let's, I, I, I want to see that. Do you fight. not think the fight with White Cells, a rematch, no? But listen, Dillian White fight, if they make the fight, I don't know if they're going to make it. If they do, Dillian White will, will knock him over. You, he, could, he could not, if he catches him, he'll knock him over. But look, let's get down to the nitty-gritty. Go on. 
So Dillian White fights. Dillian White got absolutely destroyed by Tyson Fury last year. What's the point of it? Explain to me what the point of that fight is when you can fight Tyson Fury, the bloke who beat Dillian White. Why would you even go there with that? Well, he's got a better chance of winning against White ahead of a big payday in so Saudi. So you want to fight the world title? It's about money, you said. So. Sorry, say it again loudly. Joshua did say it's about the money. You, you saw that interview. That's it. It's about the money. It's not about the pride. It's not about anything else. It's professional boxing, it's professional sport, and it's about the money. But it's not, what it's not about is trying to win the title or unify the titles. It's about money. They're full of shit, the pair of them. September 2nd, are we ruling that out now for Tyson? Tyson will fight in September. 100 not the second, though. We're ruling that out, yeah. right? No, uh, it's in September. Don't worry about that. Well, if he's, in, if he's going to call a mandatory, Frank Sanchez is number four. Is that an option? Well, they make it, they make it. Ask the WBC. They'll do what they got to do. So it's to fight anyone. Just the last one before we wrap up. Uh, as I said, I spoke to Alex Krasik last night. I said to him, uh, you know, there's three belts on the line with Usyk Dubois. The winning purse bid was eight million US dollars. The other bid was five and a half million US dollars. Your one, obviously. Uh, I said, you know, Frank said if Fury and Dubois boxed and that went to purse bids, that's going to go for at least 30 million US dollars. And he said, but how much would Fury Usyk go for? He said, be it way above he's 50. A, absolutely. Wait a bit. Listen, let's get it right. He's wrong in saying that because he keep, we keep getting told we're going to get paid 100 million for Tyson. So it's going to be much more than 50. Not my words. That's from Derek Chisora, who's their representative. And they're talking about they're getting paid 75 million. So that's, if you just look, add those together, it's 175 million. So I, we are in total agreement. But you know something? At the end of the day, what makes that value is Tyson Fury. It's not Alexander Usyk. Because his next fight, he gets six is whack. Two less than Dillian White got to fight Tyson Fury. Facts, not bullshit, facts. Well, I see and you. He ain't get, and he's not going to get the six million. But you know what's going to happen? Daniel Dubois is going to absolutely screw this up for all of them. He's going to knock him the fuck out, I'm telling you. All right, I'll see you in Poland for that, Frank. You certainly will be, mate. Thank you for your time. God bless. because I refuse to not be first. Do we do enough? Well, I, I never shot, shot up, Harry. And it must have been about 17, 16, 17, winning their guilt wins. Right, the bouncer's guilt wins. This is no good for me. That's the reality. If you want the honest truth, and I see it every day, 